Hey y'all, my name's Mare. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a fun little task to probably watch, but I will be internally dying. And that is making a brand new bookshelf. So the reason I'm doing this is I saw a video on TikTok of a four tier book cart that rotates and I've seen it around a couple times and honestly my physical TBR has gotten so bad that I decided it was time to just make the splurge make the effort so I'll go ahead and link the one that I bought in the description below if you're interested in it I don't know how it's gonna turn out because like I said we're gonna build it and organize all my books right now but the goal is to turn all of this into this so let's do it okay i think i got all of the pieces out here's what we're working with it doesn't look too bad so far but also that's a lot of screws okay only 16 steps i, I feel like we can do that shall i compare to a summer day She's the sun, she fill out the gray Quench my thirst, she's my lemonade The yellow that I couldn't paint Shall I compare oh, to a summer joking. day? Just like the sun You're gonna make me move? You have to let me out the door no, And then don't. back in in two seconds I don't have to do that You won't help me There are so many pieces, Mary Yes, I know, and you know what would make it easier? If two people did it I'm trying to eat I'm trying to build a bookshelf. You're doing such a good job though. No, I'm not. I'm doing terribly. It's not going well. Is this gonna be a two-parter? What do you mean? Your video. No. Might take a while. <laughs> well, you're on, still on the first piece. Okay, I finally finished step one of 16 and it took me a lot longer than I thought it would because I also did it wrong for one of the pieces. So <laughs> I've got three of these little guys and now it's time for part two of 16. Can't wait. Just like the sun, it will never fade. The cool breeze in the shade, my four leaves to the plate, right to my mistakes. Okay, I finally have three of these things, and now it's time to start to put it together. I had to take my flannel off because it was getting way too hot trying to be velvet builder with that on. So, um,. This is taking a lot longer than I thought, and I have work in two hours, which means I have to get ready soon, and I don't know if I'm going to get all this done, so that's really fun for me. guys she is done look at her she's so tall now I have to figure out how I'm gonna deal with all this and there's also the fact that I have like 15 minutes before I have to get ready for work so I think that I might continue this on later tonight or tomorrow where I actually put my books in but the bookshelf is done I never want to do that again hi guys it is literally 1 30 in the morning I just got off work, ate, showered. I'm ready to attack the TBR card. So, the bookshelf's all done. She's pretty, I love it. We're not gonna mess with her right now. What we're gonna do now is take everything behind me and we're gonna sort it into different sections. Each little cubby that I have on the shelf, I want it to have its own genre or its own age demographic. So I'm gonna break apart my TBR into genres at first and then break it down into subgenres if I can. That way when I am actually wanting to pull a book, 
I can say, oh, you know what, I'm really in the mood for a Y contemporary. And they're all nicely organized. So that's the goal. Downfall, when it rain and pours, my heart will forever take a toll. Cause she's all I know, she's all I know, she's all I Okay, so we got a whole lot going on here, but I have the initial piles all set up. So this stack, this stack are all specifically YA fantasy. And then this over here is adult fantasy. This is going to be adult literary-ish. We've got these two, which I'll probably just group with this section here. And then we have thrillers back here. This is all romance, including this stack right here. And then our last stack is just general YA that is not under the fantasy category. So some of the smaller piles, I might not break up into subgenres, but the big ones, I definitely need to. <laughs> I'm actually surprised to see how much YA fantasy I have. I thought I would have more romance, but uh, the fantasy stacks are actually bigger. So now to sort that out. Okay, I've got the final piles and it will probably change a little bit when I actually put it on the shelf, but we're getting ready to do that. Let's go through my little little piles. They're not really done by subgenre. They're just, you know, grouped together based on vibes. I did keep in mind like series versus standalones versus continuation, so that's what you're going to kind of see here. So, this stack right here is all of my sequels and series continuations. This one right here is the series that I'm going to start, so the first books, and this right here is YA Fantasy Standalones. This right here is actually also a book stack of series desserts, so there's more than I thought. I thought that looked a little bit sparse. Then over here we have adult fantasy series to start, adult fantasy standalones, then we have our YA titles from before, and then I grouped all of these together as just general adult fiction. Over there we still have our thrillers and then our romance ones were kind of hard for me to sort but this pile right here is more women's fiction-y slash historical and then over here I have two books like that I want to continue series for and then just a couple other ones that I'm intrigued by. Then this one is my easily influenced pile. It's basically anything I saw really hyped up or someone just talked very highly about. I don't really know what this one is right here but it just looked like they all went together so now we're gonna put them on my shelf i also think i'm just gonna sort it by what i reach for the most will be at the top so that'll be my romance and then down here will be stuff that i don't reach for as often
pretty full and I have five, four more books. Nope, five. Five more books to fit. So we're gonna see, but it's it's not looking good. <laughs> I have too many books apparently. Okay, I lied. I actually found two more books up here that I didn't know about. So new idea. What if this is like my monthly TBR that goes up here? I think that could be cute. So I'll pull some books that I'm hoping to read this month and then rearrange this top part. Okay, so I moved all the books that I'm interested in reading soon up to the top, which I actually really like because even though this is a lot easier to see, it kind of brings my focus back to these books up top saying, hey, remember when you wanted to read those? So if you're interested in what's kind of on my radar right now, these are those books. But here is the finished product. I'll go shelf by shelf. This is the first row. Did I show you these? This one? I don't know. Is there one, two, three, four? Okay, perfect. So mostly up top is going to be my romances. And then down here, we've got more fantasy. So I tried to keep all those piles together the best I could. So this is series continuations. Some of the standalones got mixed in here just because they fit better on the shelf, just due to the length of each book. But this is all fantasy love and then down here we're starting to see a little bit more of a mix so this is more fantasy even more fantasy more fantasy and then i've got a couple of thrillers mixed in here and then this is the last shelf this is going to be my ya titles those all stay together and then here's more adult more adult literature slash women's fiction and then here's just whatever kind of fit there. So we've got more fantasy and then a sci-fi. It is officially time to say goodbye to the TBR cart, which you know what? We might not be saying goodbye because I still have too many books to put on this bookshelf. We're gonna say goodbye to the TBR cart for now, try to repurpose her for something else, but she served me for a couple of good years and I really did enjoy having her. It was just getting really hard to see the books that I had because I had so many shoved on this little cart that they were behind the main rows and even when I filled that up I had so many stacks just right next to the TBR cart and it was getting so messy, so chaotic and honestly just looking at this I feel so much better. I think it looks so much nicer than the TBR cart. I love how it's tall and skinny so it's not taking up as much space and I also love that you can actually see all the books that you have. So that's a really big perk of this is that it rotates. Oh my god, it's so magical. I love that because now if I'm wanting to know what I have or just trying to find a book that I'm in a mood for, it's going to be so much easier. So I'm really, really happy that I purchased this. I am not happy with how long it took to set up, but war is over. The pain is gone. I am so excited to be able to just look at this and enjoy this and use it every single day. So like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're interested in the specific one that I bought, I will leave a link in the description. Not sponsored, not affiliate or anything, but like I genuinely just really enjoy this product so far. Time will tell if it, you know, holds up, but so far it looks pretty sturdy. It was fairly easy to put together. It was just tedious because there was a lot of screws and they hurt my little fingies so bad. They were like raw by the time I was done with this. Um, but yeah, I love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What do you think of the new bookshelf? Please say you love it. Cause like, I need the validation after spending so much time doing this. Anyways, thanks guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.